Today, I want to demonstrate Databricks Workflows. Workflows is the fully managed orchestration service to build reliable data analytics and AI workflows on any cloud. It is designed and built into your Lakehouse platform, giving you deep monitoring capabilities and centralized observability across all your workflows. Because it's fully managed, you can focus on your workflows and not on managing software and infrastructure for orchestration. To get started, let me show you the easy point and click authoring experience. Here, Workflows is used to orchestrate and run seven separate tasks, ingesting the data with autoloader, filtering the data with standard Python code, and using notebooks with MLflow to manage model training and versioning. To create another task for a workflow, I first define a task name. I'll choose Salesforce Intel here and the type of the task, which is notebook. As you can see, there is a vast selection of other task types, such as jar files with a main class, Spark jobs, Python script or Python wheel packages, as well as data flow with Delta Life tables or DBT. I then select the path of the notebook. For this task, I don't need to define any additional parameters, but Salesforce Intel has a dependency on another task that I previously created to train a machine learning model. So I add this dependency. Here is an important concept. By defining the dependencies between the tasks, I determine the order of execution of the tasks as shown graphically in the workflow UI. A task only starts to run when the task it depends on completed successfully. Defining a task, I have the option to either configure a new cluster or reuse an existing one. Here I'll choose to reuse an existing cluster. With cluster reuse, there is no additional startup time after cluster initialization. This leads to reduced runtime and reduced cost, while tasks running on the job cluster are still isolated from other workloads. For this workflow, I could also define additional tags, such as key value pairs or simple labels. These tags can be used for filtering jobs on the jobs list page, for example, by department or production stage. In my small demo, I'm not using Git, but by clicking on the Git settings, I can fully version control my workflow. Now let's look at scheduling. I can always run the workflow manually, but here I want to run it on a schedule. In this example, I set the schedule to execute every five minutes. Alerts are another great feature because they can help me to get notification when a workflow starts, succeeds or fails. At Databricks, Workflows has demonstrated proven reliability for production workloads on any cloud. Workflows comes with centralized monitoring to provide simplicity for end users. So once my job is scheduled and running, I'd like to get some insight into whether it executes without any issues. This shows me the current active runs and the completed runs for the last 60 days. This view also includes tasks that were triggered by external orchestrators, such as Apache Airflow. Speaking of observability, however, my favorite view is the matrix view. In the matrix view, I can see the job runs over time with all the execution details, such as run ID, execution time, and the completion status of the tasks. The total execution time is also displayed graphically, so Jobs that take longer can be spotted easily. Now let's explore that single failed run, which is marked in red here. To recover from a failed workflow, I'd like to know all about the downstream tasks impacted. I want to see exactly where the failure occurred and find out what it was with a single click. With the new repair and rerun feature, I can rerun all the downstream tasks that were impacted 
that's the error temporary issue um, connection refused that means i don't have to repair any source code in my notebook all i do is i go back and rerun the tasks that didn't run like all these and this saves me significant time and costs as you don't need to reprocess long-running tasks that were already executed successfully so all i need to do is click on repair and rerun and it shows me again the tasks that will be rerun click on repair and rerun and it's rerunning my clickstream workflow after repair and rerun i can see in the matrix view that my workflow was executing successfully now The core objective of this short demonstration is to give you an overview of Workflows features and the UI. However, there is also full API support for Workflows. So you can create Workflows with a UI, through the Workflows API, and with external orchestrators such as Apache Airflow. For example, here you can see the REST call to create a new job. If you take away one thing from this demo, let it be this. Databricks Workflows is the fully managed Lakehouse orchestration service to build reliable workflows on any cloud. At Databricks, we believe it is the best orchestrator for the Lakehouse.